STEM land is a science, technology, engineering, mathematics land and resource center that uh, is run by youth engineers from Aurora Design for children to learn math and science. We are located at Uthavi School and open from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. from Monday to Saturday. Glimpse of STEM land. Uh, we don't differentiate between technology, we have low tech going all the way down to building blocks to robots that, that children build through Mindstorms. Um, we also use Arduino and programming with a sonar panel all the way to creating a, a lit device that is controlled by the board. Um, The center is run by uh, Aurora Design, which is uh, it's a learning organization, and it provides local electrical engineering, engineering graduates to three who are uh, who are Aurovillian and two who are brought up in the bio region uh, an opportunity to learn, grow, work, and teach. That's our tagline. Learn is unending education, um, and grow is constant progress. The core values of our organization are responsibility to take charge of my learning and growth and support the growth of others, equality, my ability to see and treat everyone with respect, and the courage to create alternatives. We look at the organization from this lens. Uh, in responsibility, we follow the first principle of true teaching by Sri Aurobindo that nothing can be taught and that children have to take charge of their own learning and we can support them in their growth. I think it was hardest to convince children that we uh, actually believe this and we do not take didactic classes anymore and they learn through self-learning, peer learning, multi-grade learning and also by approaching adult learners and facilitators who are at STEM land. The support we provide from Oro Oro in addition to supporting the children is in tracking their weekly plans and their assessment and in creating inspiration for them by building and creating things ourselves. Here's a look at what happens in STEM land. Uh, this girl is programming uh, through a programming interface called Alice, which you can't see too well, but it's a three-dimensional world where she is putting through together a story that she had written. Uh, we have children who work on what is expected of them uh, in the curriculum. Um, and we have younger children here who we have a lot of material that children can work with and we have uh, older and younger children both working together so we have multi-grade classrooms so we have like ninth grader here working with sixth graders and fifth graders um, we have our facilitators who work along with children uh, depending on what they ask us for or what they need they work both on pen and paper as well as on computers and material. STEM land is open for all. So it's used by not only children from Udavi school, but also in this example, for example, children from TLM, uh, TLC, which is an audible school. And we also work on things like Blender, 3D modeling, Rubik's cubes and so on. So the picture of something that's in the middle of the town, then a very studious version of STEM land. Children who had learned different things, everyone had learned something different, is sharing them with, with others and there's a lot of peer learning. Uh, we also have volunteers who dropped in and loved STEM land and kept coming for some time. So we also have additional people who support the children. We have ninth graders and seventh graders in this uh, working together. And just because everyone has decided to read doesn't mean I can't go and learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So we, we maintain a lot of individuality and children choose what is it that they will pl they plan, what is it that they are going to do in a week and work on it. There's no hierarchy in STEM land. So this is a new teacher who had come and wanted to learn the Rubik's Cube and the children are working with them, showing them and sharing whatever they know. So there's no I know, you don't know, that sort of attitude. We all share what we, ha what we know and what we have with each other, um, which encourages peer learning and uh, moves away from the just being independent to 
being interdependent and working with others also and this is a week before the examination so you can imagine what it would look like and and this is what it looks like uh, not what you would ex expect the children are working on projects that um, that they want to build to show to demonstrate what they have learnt uh, some of the children have completed what they were, was expected of them in their curriculum and they are working on creating robots she wants me to see one of the projects she has completed and uh, they are using support of the of the teachers this is one of the teachers who was with us in Udavi school who is also now programming and creating projects with children we get a lot of one on one time with children which was missing when we used to take didactic classes before um, and as before we have children from 7th grade and 9th grade working together on projects uh, second core principle is equality and anyone who is interested in learning is invited to STEM land um, in the last year the children from various schools uh, both oral as well as outreach schools have used uh, STEM land we use project based learning and uh, we find it very effective for ourselves and for children to build and create something and we inspire children by by creating projects ourselves and we do what we ask of them we also have an open electronics class where anyone can come and um, and learn electronics this is an example of a professional software that we are creating for Aura Semiconductor which is the company we work with um, it's, it can interact with, uh, with the hardware chip and uh, it play, not only plays music but also can can control various things uh, inside the chip we can even monitor things of how things are moving as the hardware actually progresses or changes it's uh, I mean a fairly rigorous uh, work that we have to do and uh, including creating documentation for the software this is uh, a reflection shared by one of the youth at Aura Aura uh, who talks about how her skills of programming and, and her style have improved and and working what working with children does for her to uh, how what she does inspires children this year we also documented the work that children had done and uh, we created sort of a portfolio for them for the projects that they had created this is an example of a project that finds out if three points are collinear by finding the distance between them and checking that the distance between two of them is actually equal to the third um, so it's a visual representation of what they learn uh, in their school curriculum which is how most of the projects are so a Venn diagram what is a and B, what is the union, what's the intersection and so on. We also have youth coming in uh, who who come in to learn for example Pratap who came in to learn Python and uh, and also circuit design in our Wednesday classes so this is his reflection on what uh, he's learned from STEMland Our other co-value is the courage uh, to create and at Aurora we are aiming for self-directed learning and creating a model that would would have that work and when wh what we realize is that we are giving children a lot of freedom and and they are not sure how to use it 
And so we benefited from the stewardship of new emergence workshops that helped us understand how to work from possibility rather than from fear. And it's been very useful for the youth. And we have used the same uh, program with the children. And many other children have made uh, wonderful visual projects that demonstrate their mastery of a subject area, which helps us go beyond uh, simply examinations as a way of assessment of how children are learning and look at what you can create to do the same. This is a reflection from one of the youth um, on how uh, improving, other than improving technical skills, the stewardship workshop supported him and how he sees the impact of doing the same with children. And here's an example of something that the children have created. Uh, it's coordinate geometry and uh, she gives the example first and then you have to enter points one by one which correspond to the point on the graph and as you do that uh, it starts drawing a picture and I'm going to skip forward so it's a fairly rigorous <laughs> program <laughs> in which you have to fill out <laughs> all the points and then when you're done she makes it a van then of course creativity is also reflected in other forms uh, for example the uh, the creation of a musical instrument from a robot and we also have children from garment school have come in and who are using it. And we have a lot of videos on what children have done and he's explaining how it works. How children, uh, what all children have done and also videos of the process of them making these things and, and how they think and what they do. So that's all we have for STEM Land for now. Thank you.